Let's have an honesty moment. You ain't got no money to take your broke ass home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video, and today's video is just going to be a quick update slash review on the Cambodian wavy hair that was sent to me by Exotic Extensions Galore. So if you haven't seen that video yet, head over and check that video out. Um, I had like an initial review of the hair and kind of um, talked a little bit about the company. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will put a link. There should be like an I up here somewhere over there, over there, wherever it is today. So go ahead and check that out. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So those of you who have been on my channel before or seen any of my reviews, you guys know that I do like a pros and cons first and then I'll give you like my overall final thoughts on the hair and let you know what I think. So my first pro for this hair definitely has to be the thickness of the bundles. Um, like I said in my initial video, I didn't even use all three of the bundles that were sent to me to make this U-part wig and I had like actually I think I used like two and like a quarter bundles. Like I have a lot of hair left over in that third bundle and I feel like the density, like the wig is pretty decently thick. Um, so that's definitely a pro for me. My second pro for this hair is the texture. I feel like even with it like straightened, so I straightened it out and I feel like it really does mimic my hair when it's straightened. Like it, it's pretty close in texture. So in terms of like blending, especially because it's a U-part wig and not like a frontal, I think that that's really, really good because it kind of aids me with like blending my leave out so I'm not looking like, you know, a little bit of curl and then bone straight. So I really like that. My last pro for this hair definitely has to be the price. Um, I really, really loved that this hair was afford affordably, affordably. Yeah, I love that the <laughs> I love that these bundles were affordably priced. But as I said in the last video, those are introductory prices, so they are going to change, and they'll definitely be higher than what they are now. So now moving into my cons for this hair. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, you already know that I had quite a bit of time trying to dye this hair. So I'm gonna just kind of like run through the steps of what I did. I started out like trying to record the process, like I was gonna record the process of me bleaching it and then dyeing it, but I guess like I didn't realize when I started, when I started recording me bleaching it that my memory card was already full and I just kept Got, like my, my camera didn't beep like it didn't give me no warning it was just like you're done so the video cut off um i can put like a little snippet um in the corner i probably will of like before it cut off but basically i bought two hold on so basically i bought two of the kiss express color like full um color kit or whatever and i bought two of those in like the bright like super bright purple like it was like a bomb ass like just gorgeous stunning purple like it was it was beautiful so the concept was i was going to do an ombre from black to like purple because what i wanted to do was i wanted to test the hair out but I ended up having, as you guys know, if you're following me on Instagram, I ended up having to go to Wisconsin for some military duties and I didn't end up wearing the hair because I was like, yo, it's going to be hot. Ain't nobody trying to put like my uniform, my, my damn combat helmet over this wig. Like it's just, I'm not going to do it. So I ended up not wearing it while I was in Wisconsin, but I did want to like test the hair out so that I could give you guys like a full honest review on like the quality of the hair and what whatever whatever so when I came back I was like okay I know I mentioned in my video that I wanted to dye so let me go ahead and try to dye it okay long story short sorry I'm rambling so what I did is I bought two of the boxes of the kiss express colors in the bright purple the kit comes with gloves the dye the bleach and the developer okay the first the first box that I used had 20 volume developer for the purple box. I'll put a picture. I think actually um, it might be in the video if it didn't cut off, but so that had 20 volume developer. The hair would not lift. Like it wouldn't like it it wouldn't even get a little bit lighter. Like it was black. Black, black, black. It was like it was like I threw water on it. Like it was like, what is this? Like the, is this your bleach? So so I DM'd the owner of the hair company and I was like, hey girl, like, um, so I'm trying to dye this hair and uh, um, it's not working. And so she was like, okay, we'll try 40 volume. 
So I went back to the store. I bought one more of the kit just so that I could have two of the dyes, the same color dye, but then I bought two of the 40 volume developers and I already had bleach. So I was like, okay, let's just do it like that. I bleached the hair two more times and it just barely, after the second time that I bleached it, it just barely lifted enough to where it was like a light brown. Like it, it got nowhere near blonde the whole time. Like it, if anything, it was like, it was like a DR 30, like it was like a 30. Like that was, it, it wasn't a blonde at all. Like if you could, if you were gonna classify it as blonde, it would definitely be like a honey blonde, almost brown. Like you can see, it kind of looks a little bit red. Like it looks like I was trying to go for a burgundy, but it's definitely supposed to be like purple, like a bright, bright purple. So let's have an honesty moment. The information that, okay, so from what my knowledge, from what I was told the hair was when I got it, is I was told that the hair was raw hair. From my understanding, raw hair is not supposed to have been dyed at all. So I was not understanding why it was difficult for me to lift color because these bundles should have never been previously colored before. I should have been working with raw virgin hair so I wouldn't have trouble lifting the color off the hair. So I was like, maybe I'm just dumb. Like maybe I just don't, I was like, maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Like maybe I'm a noob. So I was like, okay, let me see let me see what else I could do. So I'm like, I put the other dye on top of it, right? And while I'm doing this, I'm talking to my cousin and my cousin is a blogger and she does, a, like she is the bundle queen, like in terms of if I need to ask some questions about bundles, if I'm not like rocking synthetic wigs, like I'll ask her first. And so I'm talking to her about it and she's like, yo, you probably need to strip it. It's probably not raw. It's probably been dyed before. And I was like, huh? So I like at this point though, like I really didn't want to spend extra money because I had already bought two boxes of dye and then I bought like more developer and more bleach so I was like okay I don't really want to go out and spend more money however um like I said it's not it's not like it stayed black the whole time but it definitely did not bleach all the way like it, it I left the bleach on I left the bleach on for like 45 minutes at a time. So every time I bleached it, which at this point, we're talking about three times because I bleached it the first time with the 20 volume developer. Then I bleached it a second time with 40, nothing happened. And then I bleached it the third time and finally I got to like a light brown. So I bleached it three times and each time that I bleached it, I had it sitting in the bleach for 45 minutes. So I don't know if, um, like I said, I don't know if it's like, if it was like a bad batch or maybe I got like, I don't know, or maybe user error, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. You guys let me know what your experiences are when you've like purchased hair or whatever um, in terms of like bleaching it or dyeing it. Like what have your experiences been? Like have you had to like really buy something that will strip it or have you been able to purchase hair that is supposed to be like raw and then you can like bleach it like normal hair. Like if I bleached my hair, it would get blonde because it's not like dyed already. So I don't know, like, I don't know if, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but like I said, it was not my intention to like come do a video like bashing the hair company because like I said in my first video, I really loved the hair like fresh out of the bundles when I made the, when I made the U part wig, I thought it was beautiful. It matched my hair, like my leave out perfectly. Like it was bouncy, it was full, but I ran into problems when I tried to dye it. Like this looks crazy. This looks crazy. In certain spots they got, it was like certain spots got way lighter and other spots didn't at all. You can see down here where the purple should have been. Like in, I left the dye on as well for 30 minutes. The box said 25. The first time I did, I left it on for 30 minutes. The second time I did it, I left it on for like 40 minutes. And you guys, excuse this little pimple right here. It's doing the most. I don't know where it came from, but it just will not vacate the premises. So anyway, um, yeah, like I just, like there's, it looks like it's orange in some spots. Some spots it looks purple. Some spots it looks burgundy. Like I just, I don't know. And like I said, it could be user error, but my understanding of what the hair, like the grade of the hair that I received, I shouldn't have even had a problem at all bleaching it. It should have bleached like this. Like, that's just the understanding that I had. So that's my con. Um, yeah, but I just, I'm disappointed because I feel like if it had bleached to 
the extent that I wanted it to bleach and I was able to dye it that purple color like this would this would be bomb like this would be a look for real like this would definitely be a look with like a really bright purple and I'll bring it to black like that would have been so pretty um so I am bummed that it wouldn't bleach like I said um so final thoughts my final thoughts on this hair I do think the hair is affordable I do think the hair is good quality but I don't think that it's raw and that's just like and I'm not I'm not trying to tarnish anybody's brand. I'm not trying to like, you know, come for anybody's neck or anything like that. I'm just saying at least at least the bundle that I got or the bundles that I got, I don't think they were raw because if they were raw, I wouldn't have had to bleach it three times to get to light brown. Because they should have they shouldn't have ever been bleached before, so it shouldn't have been a problem. But that's just me. That's just my perception of it. If I'm wrong, call me out in the comment section. You guys let me know. You know, I have no problem. Like, if you guys have a differing opinion, like, just because y'all have came for me before in their videos. <clears throat> but, yeah, definitely let me know if you think that I'm wrong. I just honestly, like, I don't think that raw hair should have taken three bleachings to get to a light brown. However, I do think the hair is affordable. I do think that if you are planning on just wearing it in its natural color, like with leave out or with like a closure or something like that, I think the hair is beautiful and I think that it holds up pretty well to heat. Um, you know, the texture change was pretty rapid. I've straightened it and wet it back up and it went back to its natural curl. I think that it really like does a good job of kind of mimicking or looking really similar to my leave out which would be like if you straightened your natural hair or if you like had a relaxer or something I feel like it looks pretty similar in terms of texture so I think that it's really good for like if you wanted to have leave out or whatever but if you wanted like I wouldn't recommend this hair if you wanted to dye your hair so yeah that's my one two three four five cents um my overall verdict is yes worth the money if you don't want to dye it because if it is raw hair and I just got a bad bundle, you're you you're basically gambling with your money. Like if you want to dye it, you're gambling with your money because you may end up having to dye it, process it again and again and keep bleaching it again and again to even get it close to the result that you want. So yeah. So yeah, that's all I have for this video, you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I will, of course, as always, um, put the information for this hair and the vendor in the description box down below. So don't forget to check that out. And don't forget to click some of those links down there and follow your girl on social media so you can be kept up to date with all the tea and all the randomness. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.